Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pope Sue Channel here. And I welcome back to this video, How to Play Jazz Guitar. Now, even though that's the title of the video, to be honest about it, it's about playing music, period. Bruce Lee once said at some point he transcended all the genres of martial arts and he just studied martial arts. That's how I feel about playing guitar. If you study music in general, as much as you can about it, you're just going to be able to understand the art and science of music better and uh, on an intuitive level as well, which is really where it's at. Some people believe intuition is a direct link to the infinite, to the universe, to God, whatever you want to call it. I even believe in intuition and marketing. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see intuition and marketing too much in many of these yuppie marketing kind of people which kind of drive me crazy sometimes, but anyway, God bless them. Uh, so let's get right to it. I'm, um, now, I don't always tune to concert pitch. Here's my A. This is a Lore LH280, by the way. It is for sale at 4 dollars It sounds great. I like to play it unplugged as much as plugged. Anyway, here's my A. But basically, um, I'll try not to mention the guitar ladder system. Whoops! I mentioned it. <laughs> I won't talk about it too much, and I won't try to sell it to you and tell you that right now, you get a 10-year membership. <laughs> Here I go. I can't help it, right? It's such a great situation. But it's true. Right now, you do get a 10-year membership. I'm giving them a bonus, an extra four years. Uh, a bonus. One of the bonuses is an extra four years. So a total of a 10-year membership for $199. It's like getting thousands of dollars of, of material, plus the Horace Hatchet files. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay. So it's like I always, like I've been saying this for a long time. I studied from Joe Pass when I was... Uh, in my early 20s and now I'm 62. Well, gosh, Steve, you sure don't look 62. Well, thank you very much. I had to pull that compliment out of you even though I can't see you, but I know you're watching. <laughs> but anyway, um, when I studied with Joe Pass when I was a young man, about 21, 22, he used to always say, if you just put a few new chords together in a new way that sounds musical, every couple, two or three weeks, you're gonna take some, he didn't use the word quantum, a quantum leap he would just say you'd have you know it's very very significant or something like that musical growth it's really true that's really what the guitar ladder system is all about but let me let me get back to offering some free information here and if you want to email me at steve zook the number seven at yahoo.com i'll send you a lesson or two for free of the guitar ladder system so you can be, begin to get a feel for what over a thousand people have ordered and and uh, the people out there, my, I call them my guitar ladder family, is really enjoying. So, okay, so major 13. And this, this is what Horace Hatchett used to do with me, by the way. When I studied with Horace Hatchett, he taught Howard Roberts how to play. Howard Roberts started the Musicians Institute, and in, I think he started as GIT, now it's called the MI Institute, Musicians Institute in Hollywood, California. Excuse the, the beat from the trash truck. But it's called Musicians Institute in Hollywood, one of the most successful guitar music schools in the world. Well, I, the guy that started that, Howard Roberts, that was one of the best guitar players ever on the planet, uh, he studied with Horace Hatchett. Horace Hatchett taught him um, when Howard Roberts was a young man in Arizona, and, and Horace Hatchett was there in Arizona. And uh, I luckily studied with Horace Hatchett two or three times when I was a young man. So. Um, that's why the Horace Hatchet Files, which you get for free right now with the Guitar Ladder Program, that's a $149 value. That, that's worth five, six, eight hundred dollars It really is, but you're going to get it for free. But he used to do this with me. He'd play chords and have me follow him. So now if, you, if you're not able to do that with me, that's okay. Just watching and listening, you're going to get a lot out of it. But like I said, email me, stevezook, the number seven at yahoo.com. I'll send you a couple freebies from the Guitar Ladder Program. That's S-T-E-V-E. Z O O K, the number seven, not spelled out, just the number seven at yahoo.com. I'll send you a couple free free lessons from the Guitar Ladder program. But anyway, okay, major 13. But just listening to this and knowing what it's called, and, and, and more important than what it's called is what it sounds like. Here, here's a huge tip. I'm going to give everybody a, a $100,000 guitar learning tip here. It's really true. When you play something on guitar, play a short little section of something and then stop and play it in your mind and listen to it in your head. I'm, I'm serious, like if you go like this, and I stop, and you play it in your head, you're, you're gonna get that information a little deeper in your subconscious. You're gonna begin to be able to pull up the color and sound of that chord. And playing music is about putting chords together, putting ideas together, putting phrases together, putting together, um, you know, learning to improvise is the fertile soil of composition. When you learn to improvise, you learn to put chords together. You learn about tension and resolution. 
You learn how to put chords together to sound musical, how to create different moods. I don't care. I mean, I write all kinds of music. I play flamenco, I play jazz, I do solo acoustic, kind of like Michael Hedges, your piano, and Susan. It's my own style, but you know, I, I do, you know, like I'll, I do some solo electric stuff, kind of like Joe Satriani. If you want to listen to, uh, you can go to SoundCloud, and listen to Journey in Time. Uh, I do all kinds of music. Why? Because it makes me happy. <laughs> But why am I able to play all these different styles? Because I spent the time to learn my instrument, to learn the different colors of how to create moods and sounds. Look at playing guitar like painting, you know, a little bit of purple, a little bit of red, a little bit of this. But there's, you know, just like with color, there's infinite shades of every color. It's the same thing with music. You've got, you know, infinite amounts of chords. And I mean, it's probably finite, you know, but it's even Joe Pass said there's just, you know, just tons and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of variations. So anyway, let me get back. So major 13, well, this is one of my favorite chords. Let's, let's have one of the nice, nice voicing that it has. Now see, that's a major 13. So it's got a root, a three, um, a seven, a three, a 13, and a nine. Great chord, huh? Now that resolves very nice to a, a seven sharp five sharp nine, right? So, the, so when you when you want to expand your guitar playing skills, um, that's why I kind of call this how to play jazz guitar, although it's really just how to play guitar. But I think how to play jazz guitar will come up nice on the searches. Is you learn to play a chord and then learn how it connects to one or two other chords beautifully and musically, not not in a disjointed way or a way that doesn't sound good. It has to be musical, okay? Uh, so anyway, major 13 resolves very nicely, as you can hear, to 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9. Maybe if I do this exercise in small sections, more people can follow it. So I just, I just thought of that, so I'll do that. So again, here's my A. I know I may not be at concert pitch, but I like the way this guitar sounds at this, at this level. So major 13 to 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9. Let's get this a little closer so you can even see that. I know I'm a beautiful, I know people, people always say I look a lot like George Clooney. I get a little tired of hearing that, so ha ha ha, right? Okay. So major 13, major 13 to 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9. When you find something that work, works, folks, do it other places so your ear can hear that. It has a little different, a little different color, a little, little different shading in, depending on where you play, hear that? It's, it's really pretty amazing. It takes on, a, just, just like an acoustic guitar, when you do altered tunings, it takes on a little different character. It takes on a little bit like William Alcorn would say, a little more mountain in the playing, okay? So anyway, so with major 13 to seven sharp, five sharp, nine, okay? So that's one little chord connection. And by the way, the guitar ladder system has hundreds and hundreds of this stuff, okay? So anyway, well, let's take a little further. Now, one of, one of my chord connection principles I teach in the guitar ladder program is common tone, okay? It's, yeah, I keep things simple. I think the most powerful thing about the guitar ladder system is I keep it simple. I make it so simple to learn. I make it so simple to take a quantum leap, so simple to understand music on a deep level because I teach the subconscious mind. I don't get into a two-hour paralysis through analysis theory rap. Okay, I keep it simple. You know, universe is a study in simplicity. Anyway, major 13, 7 sharp, 5. Okay, so now we take that note and we kind of just going to keep that common tone. Okay, so now we add a one. Okay, so don't let the simplicity of that push you away either. It's very, very powerful to learn chords and how they connect, okay? So major 13 connects 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9 connects 13, okay? Do that somewhere else. And you can come down to the ninth, right? Okay. So major 13 connects 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9 connects 13, connects 9. Now let's go somewhere else from there. Okay, so we have major 13, 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9, 13, 9. Go to a four chord, which is part of, of choral harmony. It's made with perfect force. Okay. And now, see, it's it's very difficult for me to only want to go one place because my I, my ear is hearing multiple places it can go right now because of the knowledge I've gotten from all my studying, which is all in the guitar letter system. This is what's so great. People tell me all the time when you start doing the guitar letter system, 
you, when you start, I'm getting excited. I need to slow down. I just had some coffee. When you start working on the guitar ladder system, you'll be playing something, and you'll just keep hearing where it wants to go. It's incredible, and you just follow that. And then every time you do that, you're just opening up your musical mind. It's incredible. So we have major 13, 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9, 13, 9, 4 chord. See, that's perfect 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, okay? The only difference is there's a major third on the top, but let's not, let's not get hung up in any of that. Major 13, 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9, 13 to 9 to 4, four chord with a major third on top. That down to a major 13 resolves to a major seven. I think that would be a good place to stop right there so that we have some parameters here that doesn't get too far out so you can absorb it. So major 13, I'll, I'll add this to my chord slide. This is a great little cycle, by the way. This is why I say when you, like, when you, there used to be a six year membership for 199, I would say, well, you get beyond the 200 lessons that you get in the guitar ladder, you get everything else that I have thought of in the next two years or three years or four years, whatever it might be. Now it's a 10 year. So you get everything I think of in the next 10 years from now for 199 plus the 200 lessons from the guitar letter system plus the Horace Hatchet files, which is like vintage golden, you know, scrolls from a from an ancient, you know, beautiful, just brilliant, one of the most brilliant guitar minds in the plant. That's a $149 value on the low side. It really is more like about a $500, $600 value. It's, you know, it's just, so right now there's a lot of great, you know, Huge bonuses in the guitar letter system for 199, but let's go back to this. Major 13, seven sharp, five sharp, nine, third, major, uh, dominant 13. This was major 13, dominant seven sharp, five sharp, nine, dominant 13, nine, uh, four chord with a major third in the top, major 13, uh, dominant 13, flat nine, resolves to major seven. Now my ear is also hearing this. Major 13, 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9, 13, 9, 13, dominant 13, 13, flat 9. You know, see how I went, went down a half step? 13 flat, 5 flat 9, resolved to major 7. And see, I just want to keep going. Because my ears... Let me... Uh, my ears hearing it. And that's the whole idea behind the guitar letter system. When you start learning all of these ways to put chords together, you're, you're just gonna you're just gonna start bubbling. It's it's like it's like you take a, a a mountain stream that's going downhill and there's a ton of water at the top of the mountain. It's gonna keep flowing, man. It's the same thing here. You you show your conscious and subconscious mind the fluidity of music, the the, the way that chords connect, the tension and resolution, the ten systems of improvisation. You, you, you know, you don't just read about it in a book, you play it, you experience it, you hear it in your mind. Your mind's going to just go, yeah, I get it. And it's going to start clicking and something's just going to pop and you're going to have some massive growth. It's really true. I, I get, e I get emails every day from many, many people. Okay. So major 13, seven sharp, five sharp, nine, 13, dominant 13, dominant nine, dominant 13, 13 flat nine. Resolve to major seven or major thirteen, dominant seven sharp five sharp nine thirteen nine four chord a four chord. Thirteen flat nine resolve to major seven. Okay, so I think that's a good place to stop right there. Major thirteen seven sharp five sharp nine thirteen to nine four chord to thirteen flat nine. Off the major seven. Yeah, I'm just messing around here. I haven't played it all today. So that's one more time that I'm going to upload this baby. Major 13. Love, I love this chord. And it see, there's so many places you can go. I'm just having fun, but that will be another cycle. That's why I say, when I say you get a bonus right now in the guitar ladder system of an extra four years and everything I come up with, I come up with new studies every day. So in the next 10 years, you're going to get a ton of material. It's like going to guitar school. So one more time, major 13. 
major 13, 7, dominant 7, sharp 5, sharp 9. 13 chord resolves to dominant 9, 4 chord with a major 4 chord, part of chordal harmony, perfect 4 stacked on top of each other. So 13 flat 9 resolved to major 7, or we could have done it this way, right? 13, 9 to a dominant 13, then a half step, chromatic improvisation. I keep it so simple, folks. Resolves the major. That's what's so powerful about the guitar letter system. You learn uh, how to get around your instrument, chordally speaking, and as well as there's single note studies too. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff. But I think the most powerful thing about the guitar letter system is the results. You're going to move ahead faster. You're going to get a lot more out of an hour a day practice time that you do. You're, you're going to absorb the, the keys, kind of the master key. You know, I've kind of cracked the code on learning. I really have. You're, you're, you're going to absorb the key to opening up that musical mind, that musical ear much, much quicker. And you're going to begin to understand music on a much deeper level. It's fun. It's a great thing. So, okay, folks, so enjoy that. Uh, and like I said, I carry the whole line of Laura Archtops. I've got a beautiful, beautiful 700 in right now. You can probably see it up there on the wall. Um, I'll back this up a little. You can see that flame on the wall. It, it, it just sounds incredible. It, it sounds like an old Gibson 1932 L5 meets like an Epiphone Deluxe or something. It's just an incredible guitar. So enjoy that study. Uh, feel free to email me at stevezook, the number seven at yahoo.com. I'll send you a couple uh, freebies from the guitar ladder system. And remember, the journey is the goal. Peace.